Last night, Governor Henry McMaster said the state will be requesting a rehearing in the South Carolina Supreme Court's decision to strike down its six-week uh, six abortion ban. Now, new abortion legislation is advancing at the state house, and it's even more restrictive, uh, restrictive than what justices just ruled was unconstitutional. State House reporter Mary Green has the details. Today's hearing on this new abortion ban bill comes three weeks to the day after the South Carolina Supreme Court ruled a six week ban violates the state constitution. But the lead sponsor of this new bill says he believes a concurring opinion written by one of the justices in that decision leaves the door open for the court to potentially uphold this new legislation. He stated that had the legislature found that human life begins at conception, the interests of a human life would outweigh the right to privacy. Republican John McCravey says that's satisfied in this new bill, whose 40 plus other sponsors include the top Republicans in the House of Representatives. The bill bans abortion from conception, with exceptions for life and health of the mother, fatal fetal anomalies, and victims of rape and incest, who'd be required to report the assault to law enforcement. People who perform abortions would face criminal charges, but women seeking an abortion would not. The Human Life Protection Act, H3774, is the vehicle to restore legal protection to the children waiting to be born in South Carolina. I'm representing all of the people in South Carolina who are already born, who are already struggling for basic health care. During a special session last fall, the House passed a bill similar to this new one, but the Senate didn't have enough votes to pass a ban from conception, and the same senators still hold their seats this year. The bill H3774 is, I believe, a product of that debate and something we believe can pass in both houses. I certainly respect and understand the conviction of uh, the advocates behind this bill. I really do. But at some point, you have to accept if it, it you know, it didn't come to the legislature said no, the Supreme Court said no, <laughs> and here we are trying it one more time. And that House Judiciary Subcommittee voted to advance this bill to the full Judiciary Committee today in a 3 nothing vote, with the only two Democrats on that panel not there to vote today because of scheduling conflicts. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. This is the first abortion bill that's been taken up in this new legislative session, which just began three weeks ago.